Hey guys, okay, I'm back. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, please, at the bottom because you know you want to see more of me. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you. And also hit that like button also so YouTube will know. And I got some lint right here. Is that a piece of lint? It is. It comes from my sweater. Okay, so um, anyway, <laughs> I wanted to talk about um, what my view had been um since i've been you know around the homeless community um this is something that i've noticed about homeless people and it's not that you know i have something you know really bad to say um because nowadays it's like a whole new look about what homelessness really is um i've went in different type of shelters and have discovered that some people actually um, are uh, well enough to actually go and get established themselves um, with like maintaining with responsibilities and keeping them a job or going out there um, getting resources to help provide for food. Um, education is not a big deal also, um, but however, um, what I've noticed about the homeless community is that a lot of people who are over the age of 30, 40, and 50 who do have um, the responsibility just like everyone else, um, you might get 20 to 30% of people who have actually been incarcerated in their years and it's kind of hard for them to actually find employment or get back out there into the real world because things the environment and society has changed so much but there are resources out there that will help them um get established back and you know on their feet again but however their brain has not really developed um quick enough in order for them to um quickly um, grasp for hold of the lifestyle and the establishment of society today. Um, their lifestyle is different, you know, and the lifestyles of other people are changing um, faster than they had ever expected it to be. Um, I've also figured out that um, there were um, places out there that allow people who were who has been incarcerated to have employment, but they um, still have to adapt to um, this new generation and a new technology that requires them to be a little bit more swifter um, and have a quicker accessibility with um, technology and the way that they communicate um, as well. And also just um, them using like um, common sense um, tend to be an issue as well because they have been away from society uh, for so long that they have not really um, been trained long enough to um, to keep the skill or work at the pace that they are used to working on, uh, working with, um, you know, so it's kind of like a little bit harder for them. But what I've actually realized about the homelessness community is that a lot of people who were um, in the shelter or out on the streets, they actually had decent parents at home that will be able to take care and they are willing to work with their child but it's just that their child had decided to take another route um in life that was in the danger zone that caused them to be in this situation that they are actually in um however um the experience that i've had um with a few fellows who actually discussed that um, they actually was um, honest about how they had structured parents who had order um, in the household, um, but yet they did not listen to whatever the parents would actually tell them. Um, so they kind of feel bad about what they have actually gone through, and they kind of like want to get back into that um, hospitality environment. <laughs> But some of them have actually realized that it's a little bit too late for them to go back. And that's why a lot of them are actually still being in the situation that they are actually in. Um, so it doesn't really necessarily have to always do with um, someone being incarcerated or, you know, things like that. Some people actually have 
stable families at home. Now, in my case, when I was experiencing it, mine was a little bit different. Um, I literally did not have the um, um, stable environment, stable home, you know, so that kind of led me into that before um, because I was actually um, needing support from family members and I didn't really have it at that moment of time. It was kind of hard when I was dealing with that as well. Um, but however, I've, I've met a couple of other people who have um, also did not have a structured family and environment, but they did not go towards working their way towards um, a positive lifestyle because they continue to um, um, act out in ways that they did not demonstrate that they were different from what they were being raised around. So that would set me aside from a lot of other people who also did not have a stable environment. Now, um, there are other resources and ways out there for people to help others and there are you know just generous people who have a heart that will um, influence you and let you know what type of person you are and that there are more better things out there to help you get to where you want to be in life and unfortunately uh, and I'm so thankful that I was actually the one who grasped a hold of that and actually ran with it and so I've been blessed and I'm seeing God bless me every single day now and I can look at my situation and say hmm I've been there before but I've had this happen to me in my lifestyle and and during my life but I've never actually continued to dwell on that that's why I was able to um, uh, get established and save my money and get educated and hang around people that were actually uplifting that were encouraging me because when you start hanging around positive people, especially if you're positive yourself and you don't have positive people in your own home, um, God is going to literally find a way for you to escape that. Um, and some people um, just did not have the good spirited type of vibe or personality from within them, but they were still around the same type of environment. And there has been some people, like I said before, who didn't have the uh, good spirited characteristics um, but their family had it so it was kind of weird because okay you know it's almost like you're going through something but we want to help your situation that's around you but at the same time you're going to have to change as well so I've actually noticed and I wanted to make this video because I've seen a lot of people who are probably in their 50s or 40s or 30s, approaching the approaching the 40s, um, who have you know apologized to me and other people around them because they have realized that as they got older that their parents were right, their parents were trying to um, get them to go in the right direction, but for some way somehow they were pulled in by it could be either drugs or it could be alcohol or just getting in trouble with the law you know things like that and um and, and it just made them um um experience a more um stressful um life while they were um doing things that were uh, abusive to the system but also to them um so that's what i've actually experienced about that but i would have to say that 90 percent of the people that i have encountered at a homeless shelter um were um drug related issues and i'm going to have to say alcohol um as well it's kind of like a, a tie a 50 50 type thing and um i'm also going to have to say that you know i probably got about um uh, 45 percent maybe 42 maybe 43 percent of people who had said that they had decent parents at home and they still decided to take a whole nother route um in life which was you know not one of the main goals that their parents wanted their children to do and then the other half would have to be um um it was like a mental disability there 
Um, so some people are actually getting evaluated. Um, the sad thing is, however, some people aren't getting evaluated and they are in an establishment area to where they have to work with different people coming in from incarceration or, you know, different type of lifestyles who really need serious help and therapy and, um, you know, just someone to talk to, someone to actually sit there and um, give them therapy in order for them to realize what type of obstacles they are up against. And for the ones who are um, good spirited, who have never been in trouble before, who uh, have a good head on their shoulders, who are literally uh, functional people who actually just, let's say, for instance, lost a job or needed some financial um, stability or probably someone just looking for a new job um, or a place to lay their head until they get established. Um, some people don't have anything wrong with them. So it's kind of like uh, a, a odd place to kind of be in if someone did not want to stay with someone, but they wanted to use the shelter in order to get themselves back on their feet again. But now they are around people who have been incarcerated or people who have mental disabilities. And it's kind of like, okay, so, you know, you're using your resources, um, but now you're around an environment that is not something that you actually want to be around. So, I mean, it's not saying that you can't make it because a lot of people um, with the right mindset come in and they actually make it. And some people, act because they're utilizing the resources the way that the shelter is actually designed to do. And I've noticed that some people actually um, use that shelter as a place of, um, I'm going to have to say, like a playground. Like it's almost like, woohoo, I'm in a shelter facility and I don't have to do anything. And everyone else is around me is experiencing pretty much the same thing. And, you know, it's kind of like a freebie area for them to kind of like do whatever they want in a, in a, in a sense. But um, just making sure that you know that, you know, shelters are designed for you to utilize the resources that they have in order for you to get established and for you to get back responsible again so you can take care of yourself. They're giving you resources so, so you can utilize them. But however, some people are using that to abuse and that is like not the way to go. But um, I'm just saying that, you know, I have experienced that um, around two to three different facilities that I have visited. And um, I'm very shocked to see um, people with a good home, with a good mindset, um, with a good personality and the intelligence that they have, they utilize the shelter, a homeless shelter, the way that they are supposed to use it. and they established themselves and they got back on their feet again. Um, but they were, they found a way to black out anyone else that was there that was not in no way or any form um, in the same type of environment that they were used to being in. They found a way to maneuver their way around um, them and kind of like they were invisible. So they utilized the resources that they were given and they had a pretty decent lifestyle. So that's about it. I haven't experienced anything else. Um, I'm pretty sure there are some things that I have experienced. But um, if you have, but I'm not going to put all that on here, not, not on this video, no. <laughs> but if you have experienced anything in the shelter, if you have anything that you want to say, write your comment below. Don't forget to click on the red subscribe button at the bottom. There's my picture at the bottom, at the left bottom corner. Your to When you're viewing it, it'll be your right corner at the bottom. Click on my photo and it will allow you to subscribe to my channel. And also like it if you like this video. And also, like I said before, comment below. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.